Hi guys, this is another hacker rank problem called autolating characters. You are giving a string containing characters A and B only. So the string only containing characters A and B. Your task is to change it into a string such that there are no matching adjacent characters. To do this, you are allowed to delete zero or more characters in the string. Your task is to find the minimal number of required deletions. So, for example, given a string a b b b a a b a b, remove an a at position zero and remove an a at position three, we got a b a b. So yeah, the solution is when we loop over the string, we found that our uh, adjacent characters which they are the same. We just uh, remove the 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 previous one. Like when we loop over this string, and we found that there were two a's, we remove the previous a. And when we uh, we continue looping over the string, we found another two A's. We just uh, remove the previous A. The input will always be valid. The string length is greater or equal to one. So there are five test cases. For example, for this, we found the four A's. So we just delete three. We could delete the first three or the last three, which uh, which uh, which is also fine. Five Bs, we could delete the previous four Bs or the latter four Bs. Okay, so uh, let, uh, let's do that. We can just loop over the string, and when we found the adjacent characters are the same, we just delete the previous one. So we use a string buffer to store the. Uh, the string after the deletion. So let's do that. We could, because the input is, is always valid, we could just append the first character into the string buffer and then we start in from one to loop over the rest of the string. I plus plus. So here we have how we check if the last character in the string buffer is the same that uh, we are looping. In this case, we just do nothing. Otherwise, if they are different, we just append the new character of the string into the string buffer. And finally, we just return s dot length minus the string buffer dot length. So the result is the number that we or the result is the number of characters that we deleted. So let me run code. Work the submit. Okay, guys. So that worked. The solution is pretty straightforward. That uh, we are looping over the string, and when we found when we found. Uh, the, there are adjacent characters which are which are the same. Then we just uh, skip over the current uh, uh, character and continue over the next next character. And finally, and and then and we store the uh, store the result into the stream buffer. And finally, we just use the original string minus the uh, stream buffer. Length and the result is the uh, number of characters that we deleted. Let me know if you have a better solution. Thank you.